everybody, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft and I'm super excited because I'm back with another laminating video. Now, I want to say first off that I did see um, Jennifer Maguire do this, I don't know, a few couple of months ago. I tried it, I didn't have any joy with it and then I remembered about it the other day and I thought, mm, I'm going to try this again. So I can't take credit for the actual... Um, you know thought of it but you may not have seen it anyway but this is a stamp and I have stamped it inside of a laminating pouch and then laminated it you see and so it's completely concealed well encapsulated in the pouch and I think that is so cool so I've just made you know a simple card with it but I just think it is brilliant and you can see there is a lot of detail in that as well so when I saw Jennifer's video a while ago um, she was using a white pigment ink of some sort so I tried it and it just wasn't an, an absolute mess and I thought oh well it doesn't really work for me you know forgot about it and I'm I tried it again the other night with loads of different inks and the only ink that I had any success with was black stays on now don't forget of course you can buy stays on in different colors and um, I have ordered two colors actually just because I, I really like it and I want to do it again but that's the only one I had any joy with was stays on so um, we're going to do that again today. It's really, really easy. Now, quickly, I want to show you a few mess ups that I did. And I want to show you something else as well that I've done. So, this was my... <laughs> this was the attempt with um, the VersaFine ink. It just wouldn't dry. The ink would not dry. So that was an absolute mess. Um, now... Look what I even did. I even heat embossed inside of the pouch. And I'm so impressed with that one. Um, just the same way you would heat emboss, I wiped it with an anti-static bag. Um, Versamark ink, whatever, sticky ink. Put the powder on and then I heat set it first. And then I ran it through the laminator. And that is actually turned out really good. So have a go at heat embossing in them as well because it did work for me. So that was that. I did a couple of words and um, they turned out okay. Now the one that I'm going to use today is this beautiful sunflower. Okay. Again, I've already laminated it and those strips are just to stop the pouch from jamming in the machine. If you put a thick piece of card before you run it in, um, it stops the, the pouch from jamming. So, I've used just these A5 pouches. Um, I have got a one ready because you're going to have to let it dry for about 15-20 minutes. Um, so this is a one I had stamped, but I haven't laminated it yet. Um, you just stamp on the inside of the pouch and then just close it. Obviously put a piece of card and run it through. Um, but I'm going to show you just so you know that it does work. So you just open, open your pouch up. Um, the stamps I, were you, I was using were these beautiful wood ones. Now I bought them from a lady on Facebook so I have no idea what brand they are. Um, Petlumia, I don't know, made in the USA but they are absolutely beautiful. So stays on. Now my stays on is quite dry. I've just had to order a re because it's not the best I've had this a few years now so you just give it a good ink and I'm going to turn my laminator on actually while we're doing that I 
so that should be enough and then I've got my pouch so obviously you want to leave room to put like a, a thick piece of card or you know a strip of card and then you just got to put it down just be careful it doesn't move and then I just give it a few presses and then lift it up and that has stamped absolutely beautiful so as I said you will need to let that dry for about 15-20 minutes just to be on the safe side because if it isn't dry it will just smudge like I showed you with the other one so I'm going to put that to one side to dry because I can make another card with that later so I've already got that one for the card and we are gonna run this one through that I stamped a while ago so I know it's dry so let's just pretend that one I've stamped is dry okay um <clears throat> just a little bit of scrap card just, just cut a piece and then all you'll do is put that up against the fold and there's much less chance of the pouch jamming all right so I've got my laminator on here it should be nearly ready and I've got it on the 125 is that MC or MIC and then because I have an 80 and a 125 I've got mine on the 125 so I'll just wait for it to be ready I was really impressed that the the heat embossing worked because of course if you want to heat emboss on acetate you're going to need to get the heat resistant and you can't always find it and obviously they are you know you could just do this on, on acetate fair enough but it is more expensive and you get tons of pouches and they're a lot cheaper and plus people always ask us to do things with the laminator so that's why I'm doing it but I think it's a really good technique I'll definitely do it again and I'm looking forward to doing it with coloured when I get a couple of the coloured stays on so just run it through Okay, there we go that is that done and ready now a couple of tips again what I find the colder the laminator is where I'm, I mean don't have it on to heat up for ages and ages once the lights ready do it straight away I find if you let it heat up for ages and it's really 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 hot you tend to find the pouches wrinkle more and you also sometimes get like a little white kind of mist inside of them I don't know why that is but that's what I find so we've got that one um, and I've already done that one but as I said I want to use the sunflower today so I've just put a six by six card <clears throat> and just a small a slightly smaller bit for the front of the card now I'm going to use my layer and ovals here. I think it was this size that I used. Yes. And what I do is I cut them both, run it both through together. And even if it doesn't cut, at least I've got the marks ready where I know it needs to go. So I just take that down. And then I just run it through like this. I 
got my card, aperture card, and then I know that is going to fit exactly over and just be exactly where I want it to be so we can hide the um, laminating pouch inside. Right, I'll quickly get this out of the way because I then want to do some heat embossing on the front as well. Which I thought might be quite nice. I've just got this bit of card. So just the front piece here, I've got this really pretty stamp. I think I used it the other week in a video. And I've just got one of the little ones. And I just want to randomly heat emboss it round with some clear embossing powder so I've got some clear embossing powder and I'm just going to wipe it first with an anti-static bag and I always emboss it after I've cut it because then we're not wasting stamping on bits that we're going to cut out really just adds just a lovely little bit of extra detail so that's that now let's get on with the card so take the card base I am just gonna quickly score this because I don't think I have right now if we take the laminated sunflower we are going to hide hide it in there and then put that over the top and then you won't see any of the you know kind of construction of the card so we really just want to kind of pop this over and then all I do is just start to trim just a bit just all around like that and then it's going to get glued onto the front of the card oops just be careful you don't have any glue showing like I've just done this glue dries really quick as well hopefully I can get that bit off right and then this bit here turn it over and I've just got some of these foam pads there we go and that will hide any of the construction so when you even when you open it up you can't see anything because we've trapped it inside and I think that is absolutely beautiful now for decoration I used my oh, Sizzix 
bee dies. I thought they would be a really nice little die cut to add. I've cut them out and I've put some Spectrum Sparkle on them. And I'm probably going to have them something like that, I think. And then I've got two little sentiments from this stamp set, which I think is especially for you, friend. Isn't that just so pretty? I mean, it's so detailed as well. That's the stamping. So there's the one we've just done. And the first one I made. Absolutely love that stamp. So yeah, give it a go. I hope you enjoy it. I'll be back again on Sunday with another reel of your stash. So take care and bye for now. <laughs>